Hey, welcome back. Have you ever wanted to have a shop where you click a few buttons and the product layout changes? I'm gonna show you how to do that with no extra plugins, no Java scripting. We're gonna keep it really simple and easy with a little bit of minimal CSS and of course, Elementor Pro. <laughs> What you want to make sure you got done is some images and I've used Canva 500 by 500 pixel. I should have done them at 70 by 70 because they are going to be quite small. They don't need to be that big. Um, I've got two gray rectangles for a two column approach. I've also got a four column approach and I've also got a three column approach. If you want to have five columns, six columns, that's probably going a bit crazy or one column. You can go around and mess with it, but make sure you've got those images in here. Now, normally when you do a shop template, you will obviously do it in templates and you'll create a template for your product archive. You'll call it shop template and do it there. I'm just doing this in a page because this is my test website. What I do here, you could do on a page, on a uh, shop template, whatever you want to do. Okay, so please don't think that you can't replicate these skeps in a template. You can do. Okay, so what I've got over here is I've just got a section and I've dropped into here the tabs widget. And at this point, you're probably thinking, hey, is this how we're gonna solve it? Believe it or not, this is the simplest, easiest way to do it, in my opinion. Of course, if you out there know of a better solution, please drop it in the comments, because I always love to learn as well. So over here, we just have a tab, right? It's the tabs that you can easily get in Elementor. Tabs, there we go, we just drop that in. Over here at the moment, we only have three titles. Tab one, title one, two and three and there isn't any real much content going on in here. And if you're not familiar with tabs, they are pretty versatile in how you can use them. We have a horizontal or a vertical approach. It makes so much sense to just go the horizontal. And for anyone out that, that says, well, when you switch to mobile, the layout looks wrong. We are gonna solve that as well towards the end. So don't worry about that. What we're gonna do is set this to be a center rather than having stretched out or over to one side. We're gonna have a center approach. Now the key bit here, I'm gonna get rid of title one, sorry, two and three. On title one, over here we have the title, okay? And I can change it to be whatever I want. I don't actually want the title. I wanna have an image and we're gonna drop in some simple code that's gonna allow us to pull through an image from our media library. So here we go, into the title, I've dropped in this code. I've put it into contents as well, just so you can see it. Here is where it's pulling our image. So we've got two col. So when I want the free col, I'll just change the two to be a three. I'm also saying the width of this is 100 pixels. I'm now looking at that and feeling that is way too big. I think we could get away with 30 pixels, if I'm honest. I think that's pretty reasonably small. It's not too much in your face and that looks okay. You can have whatever color scheme you wanna have on it, depending on how you create your image in Canva, Photoshop or wherever you're gonna do it. So I'm just gonna quickly modify this bit over here just so I got the code written out. So there you go, I have my three columns in place, okay? Two, three, and four. Now, they are quite widely spaced out. And even when you go into the styling of your tabs and you start to like say, well, you know, get rid of the border width and, and knock the typography down to zero and all of this stuff, all of this messing around, you're still gonna have quite a bit of white spacing. Now, you might look at that and be okay with it, but what if you want the tabs to be closer together in terms of the title? We're gonna go to advanced, go to custom CSS, and we're gonna drop in some really simple CSS code, but it's gonna shrink the padding within the title. And there it is. Elemental tab title, padding, zero pixel. And look at that, we now have zero pixel. So if I was to go over here and change this to be 20, it's gonna be 20 pixel, two pixel, you know, I could go with 10. So I can be relatively quite prescriptive on what the layout is. So do I want them to be closer together or do I wanna just maintain the, the normal size as what they normally are? Now let's get on to actually adding in the products. We're gonna to go to templates. And if you're not familiar with that, it'll be on your WordPress over here. There's templates. You can also go to theme builder as well. It doesn't really make a difference. They're the kind of same thing. I'm gonna hit add new and I'm gonna do a section, okay? You can, if you want, click products archive, okay? But I'm just gonna go for a section for now, and I'm gonna call this uh, grid two. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna pick products. It's very easy for people to have pick like archive products sometimes. You don't want that, you want the products one. Why? Because the products one comes with query. 
which is really important if you want to include or exclude certain types of products from what you're showing. And if you want it to be built off a current query, latest products, things like that, okay? Or it might be that you decide we're only going to show products for t-shirts. So you stick it in here, you'd have um, term, and then down here, if I was to type in hoodies, there you go, clothing hoodies pops up. So if you want to have particular items, and that's the other thing as well, what we're doing with the tabs, you could, if you want, have a picture of a hoodie, picture of a t-shirt, picture of trousers. And when they click it, the shop bit will change to only show those products. So another really cool, funky way of doing like um, category filtering uh, for items on your website. Just a little tool tip there if you ever wanted to do that. I'm going to set this one to be just two columns. And for testing purposes, I'm just going to leave it as one col row. I don't want to have multiple rows. I'm just going to do one row for now, okay? Uh, pagination, I'm not worried about that. Uh, now, here's the important bit with the style, okay? I am going to get rid of all of these items here. I'm just going to have images. And if you like what you see, you click it and you go through to it. And hopefully, you will convert and make a purchase. So I am now going to get rid of all of these items down here. And the simplest, easy way to do that is you just go to typography for all of them and set it to zero. If I set the title to be zero, it's gone. The price we set to zero, it's gone. We go to the sales flash, that will be off. We go to the button and the typography for that, we're also going to set to zero. They're all gone, like literally disappeared off this world. And then you can also mess around with your row gap and how you're going to have it laid out and all of that. I'm going to just copy this entire section like that. I'm going to copy the section and I'm now going to hit publish. I'm now going to go back to templates. We're going to click add new. We're going to go for section and we're now going to go for grid three. Create. Just going to go here and I'm just going to hit paste. That is now everything that we had before. We're now going to go over here and I'm going to click three. Now, sometimes something funny will happen. When I do three, no image appears. And if that happens, just go over here and start doing this and then put it back to what your number was. It's just a weird thing that happens, but I'm not too fussed about it. Let's hit publish there. Add new section. We'll call this one grid four. Paste in what we had before. Click it again. Change it to be four columns. If you can't see the items, just do this a few times and they will appear. And there we go. And that's our four templates. Well, three templates done. You can clearly see here for grid two, three, and four, we have our template shortcode. Let's pick up the code. Let's go to tab one, which is grid two. I'm going to get rid of the code we had there, and I'm going to paste this in here. Elemental template 7225. Let's go to the next one, get rid of whatever we had there. Let's paste it in, and that template code was 7228. You might as well just pick it up like that. Just paste it in. It's the easiest way to do anything, really. Get rid of whatever we have there just make sure there's nothing in there for the third one and let's now pick that code up and drop that into so now when we update that don't worry though if you can't always see it when you go on it's just sometimes it will appear sometimes it won't sometimes you've got to refresh the page either way when you preview you should see it so we're now viewing our page we have the two grid which is what how it's going to look whenever you open it you go to three you go to four and, you know, even though there's movement in the images, that's just because there's more images appearing. But in factual fact, when you look at the width of it, it is occupying the same estate. OK, now one word of warning, though, if we just go back over to this page here. OK, um, if we go to responsive mode, I'm pretty sure you're aware of this. But when you view it in a mobile, you're going to see this, which looks pretty awful, in my opinion. I mean, right now. When you go to four columns, it's still two columns. What you would have to do is go over to your grid, okay, view it in, um, this is for grid four, go to mobile mode, and then you're going to adapt it. I've got two columns, three columns, and four columns. Maybe for the mobile, you'll have one column or two columns, right? You won't have three and four because it will start to look ridiculous. Unless you think it looks okay on the screen, that's up to you. But you'd go for one and two. So what you'd have is you'd have another um, like tab and then you're just going to responsively hide them. So you might say, OK, on the desktop and tablet, show this one on the mobile, show this one instead, which is just one or two columns. So have a think about that. Don't just don't just do it and then walk away, because believe me, if anyone picks four and they only get two columns, well, that's not really that different from what you have there with the two columns. Right. Same with the three. So have a think about your layout. 
Now, the other thing also you will have noticed is that the tabs are going vertically. Even though when we go to mobile mode content, we still want it to be horizontal. That horizontal is de facto across, de facto is, is, is across the, um, all of the um, pages or the responsive mode views. So how can we alter that? Again, with some simple CSS code, we're gonna to go to advanced, go down to custom CSS, and we're just gonna hit return a few times and we're gonna stick it in there. By the way, don't worry, they'll all be in the description for you to get hold of them. Anything under 450 now, it, fle it basically takes this and it flexes the direction of the elemental tabs wrapper, wrapper and puts it in the center as well. This little bit of code here, um, I had to stick in because if you don't do that, you get this effect going on here. So I've just replicated the 450 and the max value. They don't need to touch anything here. But all I did was do justifies content. content. If you don't justify the content, this happens. It moves over to the left, which you might want, but I didn't, so I just put that in there. So if we were now viewing this on a mobile screen, remember, we haven't adjusted the grid, so don't start jumping up and down, but it is now gonna do the same effect. When we go to mobile, it is gonna do the same effect. So with a really, really simple approach, I mean, I don't know how I can get this over even simpler than it is. Tabs, we put images into the title, you created your grids, as we have done here, you take the short code, you, know, you stick them over here, you put your template short code in, and then you now have a variation on your shop or your products. I mean, this is really cool because you could have even over here an icon that says offer. And when you click it, this will now reveal an offer template with lots of other stuff, do, 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 content. And this is something you could use not just for shops. You could use it on your website, on your web page, on your content page, so many versatile ways of doing it. But it's a great way of showcasing content or products or whatever you want in a different way. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and we'll see you soon.